This is the um, Wang Fujing uh, kind of like shopping plaza. It's basically like a street in China where there's a lot of shops, a lot of like side streets with food, a lot of malls as you guys can see. We have a spa there. Um, a lot of people walking down. It's a lot busier than any of like the shopping streets in America because China obviously just has a lot more people, a lot of street crossings. There's um, a huge bookstore here, which we'll take a uh, tour of later in a separate video. But um, it's a really, really busy plaza, a lot of glitzy shops, some good bubble tea in those shops. And also, um, oh look, I'm heading towards a little post sign. But if you want to do like shopping in Beijing or like a touristy shopping place in Beijing, this is probably the place to go. If you want Western food, there's McDonald's here, there's KFC here, there's like cultural shops here, um, there's music shops here, there's book shops here, um, there's a swatch shop here obviously, and there's also plenty of restaurants uh, if you want to eat. But honestly, if I were here um, and I was hungry right now, which I'm not, uh, I would actually not eat at any of the restaurants. I would actually check out the street food, which we're going to check out here. Um, it is a little crowded on most days. It's after New Year's already, and there's still so many people here. So during um, during most days, it's there's actually a lot of people walking around. Um, it's kind of close to Tiananmen Square. If you want to come here, you take the subway, and you basically get on the – you try to somehow get on line one or was it line one or line two, I forget, and you basically just, there's two central stops, uh, Wang Fujing is one of them, then I think it's like next to Tiananmen Square East, I'm not exactly sure which stop it is, but um, it's on the main line that goes in the middle of the city, so you should be able to find it, you can see the uh, KFC right there, but by the way, is KFC in China is a lot better than KFC America, their chicken's just that much more tasty in Asia, other than that, they actually have fresh chicken, whereas in America, it's like, processed chicken so kfc in china big thumbs up kfc in america not as great as i would like honestly like this is that's like one of the last places i actually go for chicken in the u.s because it does not taste all that good kfc in america but kfc in china is a big big winner so we're actually just walking down the street here um and now we're going to enter like this kind of side street here um, in Wang Fujing. And this is where all, like this is really, to get the Chinese experience, this is where you want to eat. We're going to ignore these people trying to take a photo here. Um, you see all those little shops with the little lanterns? Those are food places. You can see the steam coming from them. And you can have all sorts of meat on a stick. Like there's squid on a stick, uh, corn on the cob, um, lamb on a stick, pork on a stick. I don't know what the meat is. It might be rat on a stick. I don't really care. Um, actually, it's probably not rat on a stick. They actually got rid of all that. But you can see like lamb on a stick, pork on a stick, ra uh, random pastries, um, you know, red lights saying Happy New Year, blah, blah, blah. There's corn, hot dogs, there's meat skewers, like everything. It's like super, super tasty. But it is super crowded. So you will have to weave your way through or just punch through your way through the crowd. Actually, don't do that because someone will ninja you. But that's kind of like a tour of Wang Fujing. Look, that's the squid on a stick. It looks scary but it's actually freaking delicious. So uh, check that out, definitely. Wang Fujing and um, definitely the street side shops of food in it.